Good evening guys and welcome to a vlog that is starting at the end of the day, which is pretty unusual. I've just put the kids to, well, Mike's just put the kids to bed with me. He's Still just walked into the room and um, I've decided that tonight is the night we're going to tackle a job that I've been putting off for, how long would you say, Mike? About five years. <laughs> about five years in my last vlog you'll have seen me do my wardrobe with the help of the organized girls but i don't have them here today why so not? why good. not rope in mdf I to help like having a bitch with no i've got to blow the up cupboard, dusty cobwebs off the cupboard the cupboard of doom are you gonna open it up mike reveal what we've been hiding in our bathroom i mean move your arm <laughs> Uh, on the plus side, we have this amazing storage in our bathroom. The other side, we actually have another cupboard on that side, which I keep my coats in. Um, but which this, everyone keeps in the bathroom, what? Coats which everyone keeps, it's just a very convenient coat storage area. It's very weird in our bathroom, but anyway, um, this is our bathroom cupboard. As you can see, it's a complete and utter mess. This is, know, mine looks really tidy. This is, uh, no, that's Mike's shelf there. These are Mike's shelves up here. This is my shelf. This is like communal stuff that I'm not gonna lie. This is the worst bit because you know who can reach in these little shelves here is Enzo. So the stuff comes out and goes back in probably three or four times a week. Yeah, that's a week, a day. <laughs> a day. Um, but yeah, as you can see, at some point in my life, I tried to be organized. Please there are little that. shelves back there. I tried to be organized, it didn't work so well. But what we're gonna do today we're gonna have a clear out, we're gonna have a reorganization, and we're gonna chat some skincare. You know what I think we need for filming this? Can I also Mike said a stand. I would call it a tripod. One of them things. And a light, and potentially, as well. And can you not well. put this in slow-mo? Because every time you do a vlog <laughs> at the moment, we go into slow-mo. Just please don't, just don't. Um, the other What's thing, no, I'm, I'm slow not, no slow-mo. I, we're gonna start off, Mike. We're gonna have the uh, cleanse. No, I'm doing my bit. We're gonna You're have the, no, bit. but what we do no. first is have the cleanse. So we get rid of the stuff we don't need that's run out or we don't want that's gone off. Then we Nothing have the reorganisation. Nothing of mine's bad. Everything of mine's amazing. That's also not the extent of what needs organising because this shelf here is my like day-to-day -day skincare. This needs organising and we also have the shelf of doom over here, which I mean, uh, it's like bathroom situation right now is not ideal. Hopefully by the end of the evening it is going to be. Mike is downstairs getting some bin bags and boxes to organise stuff into because some of the stuff will go into recycling, some of the stuff will be given to friends and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do whilst he's doing that is wash my face. Set up a light so we can actually see what's going on here. But first of all, I'm going to take my makeup off. I'm still using the Garnier Micellar Water. This is the um, aloe one, which is, I think, probably my fave. I change. I change my mind all the time. Face halo. The Drunk Elephant Cleansing Balm, which I really like. It's more of a butter. Do they call it a butter? I think they do, yeah. Melting butter cleanser. Texture is literally, you could spread it on your toast. Then I usually rinse my face halo and then use the other side. And whilst Mike is downstairs sorting out the organising paraphernalia, I wanted to also use this. I'm actually going to test this out on Mike because I feel like it will blow his mind just a little bit. This is the Zip Halo. I first saw this on Ruth Crilly's Instagram stories, I believe. And seeing her do a before and after made me, like, absolutely know I had to try it. It's a microcurrent device and I've used microcurrent devices before and I've been really impressed with them. I've actually had various conversations with people in the industry in the know, most specifically an exceptionally good facialist who specializes in facial massage. When I asked her about microcurrent, she was like, it's amazing to use like before events because it gives you like an instant lift. Anyway, this is microcurrent and nanocurrent. So the microcurrent um, works on that kind of muscle tightening, like immediate effect. And then the nanocurrent works on a more kind of, um, on a, like a deeper level within your skin to help improve your skin smoothness, elasticity, etc. And I have to say, this is unbelievable. Like all of the other microcurrent devices I've tried in the past have been way bulkier for a start, but also just not as easy to use as this, not as compact. And also 
in terms of results. I've noticed a big difference using this. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I also have a 15% discount code, um, which I'll put on screen now if you guys want to buy one. But I mean, they are, look at this. It's like a little space, it's like a miniature spaceship. You turn it on, it goes beep, and then it's ready to go. I'm gonna put some gel on my face. As with all microcurrent devices, you need conductivity gel. You have to put quite a lot of this on. I usually put six pumps. They say to put between four and eight, and I'm just getting my hair out of the way because this stuff is quite something and there's quite a lot of it. You don't really want it in your hair. So you put this all over your face and along your jawline because we're gonna go in there. And then you literally Put it up diagonally, it beeps, and then you do the next section. And you can feel this working. It doesn't hurt, but you can feel it working all of your muscles. It's actually bonkers, especially here. You can literally feel it going And you see why they call it a zip, because it literally feels like it's zipping your face back together. It's wild. And these guys actually have a 30 day challenge. If you get one of these, um, you can follow their kind of 30 day treatment routine and they say get the best skin of your life in 30 days which who doesn't want that i've noticed a massive difference when i use this instantly but also in the condition of my skin i don't know if you can see the difference from just using that i've only used it on this side of my face but in terms of this area here i've noticed it just really everything is just kind of like lifted and tightened in my eyebrows too can you literally see, like, I'm not, I have no, like, I'm not raising either of my eyebrows right now. And the difference between this eyebrow and that eyebrow from using this for, like, a couple of minutes. It's wild. Like, this eyebrow is raised, this eyebrow is not. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I really, really rate this. And I think if you're looking at a microcurrent device, I feel like this is almost a better option because you get that nanocurrent combined technology and it's apparently the only device in the world that uses both at home device that is so if you want something that you can use at home that's going to give you really amazing lifting results instantly but also be really good for your skin in terms of anti-aging so really good up the neck mike i really want him to try this come and try this i know you don't like skincare stuff but i honestly i really want you to try it I'm gonna try and make this eyebrow match the other eyebrow now, because otherwise I look a bit crazy. My eyebrows now match. When I did one side and one eyebrow was like, see? You know, okay, when, so when, you're, when you're this you really, 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 face? really good looking. Can you just come and wash your face? What do you mean wash my face? I'm always clean. And then put that all over your face. All over my face. It doesn't need to be rubbed in, it needs to be like on the surface. Can you feel that? Oh, already, I'm looking like a 25 year old again. <laughs> Does it get rid of greys as well? <laughs> Sadly not for you. Sad times. Just, oh, that's a tingly one. I'm gonna walk into work tomorrow and they're gonna be like, God, you look like you're 15. How do you look so sprightly? Honestly, it like lifts. Can you see the difference? Hmm. I would actually concur. I kind of like to see like here. Really it like sculpts your face. <laughs> it was so I don't think Mike's gonna be using this every night like me because I don't think he cares so much. <laughs> but. I thought it would be interesting to try it on you. Can you not do the other side so I don't look quite so weird? Because you would give us like the. The, so actual the actual sensation is very um, weird. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it it's too. It's because it, it's, it's like kind of a, a tingly, wingly. It's, well, it's like a, a mini electrocuting your face. <laughs> um, oh, it's like looking at a. He's like old. he is. He's gone back in time. We've both gone back so in like time. If I do this, you can't see my hair. And it's like, oh, what a youngster! What a young-looking <laughs> fellow. Because you can't see the grey. Look at him. Sprightly and young, let's clear out Blue steel Zig Hubbards Mike's now taking a really deep hard look at himself and commenting on his wrinkles Rising in the mirror I'm going to get a face mask on while we're I, I, I am not getting a face mask on You know what would be a good thing to do? Do you know what would be a good thing to do is actually I'm going to use the, the very last of my Summer Fridays jet lag mask because then it can go jet in lag. the bin You're not being jet lagged I know I'm not jet lagged but it's just really hydrating and nice Goodbye jet lag mask Also going to put it on my lips because my lips are dry <laughs> That's where that is That belongs in the hair Ah, ball of the ball deed list of deed list Like in my pocket Mike is an actual hoarder Like that's a cute pile I haven't made a disappointing products video in a long time, but 
but this would go in it. This is the worst texture. This is the Sol de Janeiro. I love their stuff. This is their shower gel. It's, can you hear that? Solid. In order to get it out, you have to take the lid off. It's not a shower gel appropriate texture. And I don't know how they made it, but literally look at this. How did they make it in that packaging? It's the weirdest product on the history of product. It smells great, but no, just no. How do you wash your body with that? This is what I call progress, guys. Woo, we can see the back of the cupboard. Mike may be slightly beating me a little bit. I've done the bottom though. My skin feels smoother than Enzo's butt right now. That face mask is honestly, it's the best. Now it's time to tackle the travel minis of doom. Literally, what even is this? I've been balancing things higher and higher on here, hoping that they don't fall, but it's time to say goodbye. That is exceptionally satisfying. That was such a mess before, and now it is tidy. We are looking so much more organized already. I just need to clear this out now totally and clean it and then everything is gonna go back in and it's gonna be so good. I cannot wait to open this and just not feel stressed. Did you always know that you're my hero? <laughs> Do you realise it's nearly midnight? It's like it doesn't look that much tidier than it did at the beginning, whoa, 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 but it whoa, whoa, is tidier. It is so tidier. Sorry. I think those tidy ladies that came and did your wardrobe are gonna need to take me on. We need some <laughs> more of this situation. Maybe I need to go to Home Sense and get some extra oh, baskets. For what? Mine's well, just, perfect. I don't know, so that it, I don't know, it just looks a bit... So anyway, I'm going to take you on a tour. <laughs> this is Mike's section. You have his various array so of can I just point um, out that that, facial... That is your supply of oversupplying me. It's me oversupplying Mike with SPF, mostly. He has fragrances in the back there, um, shaving paraphernalia, his wash bag that he currently uses, um, tooth stuff in the back, We've got um, insect repellent, which is, this is actually going is into my you? domain because Mike does sure, not get, the Mike repellent? does, you don't get bitten by any insects. Exactly. I get all of them. This is like more medically treatments like scar um, creams and like all sorts of stuff like that, like scalp treatments, um, my beloved face halos. And we actually have loads of cotton rounds, but I never use them. These have been left over for ages and I feel like, don't want to get rid of them, but I don't really know what else to do them. Um, flannels, we have cotton buds. I want to reorganise this section because I want to get some nice old um, candle glasses and fill them up. But basically it's like nail clippers and nail files, etc. in there. Then we have my travel mini section, which I'm very proud of because I had a, a major detox of this because it was overflowing. Um, face masks, sheet masks. Um, I feel like I could have gone harder on these, but I do actually use sheet masks a lot. Then I have a um, little wicker square full of my um, derma rolling stuff. And then this is the spare skincare stuff. I haven't properly sorted out the shelf. I feel like I need to put more skincare stuff in here, but I might do that in the morning because at the moment we have masks here. So we have like a spare SPF and a spare exfoliate, which I always keep an exfoliate in the shower. Um, and then we have um, at the back some clay masks. This is a like special one-on-one -on -one skin treatment that I need to use at some point. It's like a week long. We have ex um, resurfacing masks. Then we have hydrating masks. Then we have my little zip and the gel. And then we have deodorants, body creams. This is actually my um, teeth whitening tray that I haven't used in a while, but I'm keeping it because in case I want to whiten my teeth again. Spare wild deodorants in the back, hair removal, eyebrow dye, makeup brush remover, spare razor heads. And then under here, Mike's theory is if we put everything really far back, Enzo won't be able to reach it. But we still have our stock of like no shampoos and conditioners. And conditioner yeah, day. now it's very organized. And for about five seconds until Enzo gets back in there and reorganizes it for you because it was organized like this before and then this is the kids shelf down here which again looks weird having everything at the back but it makes sense when you think about um enzo's arm span hopefully won't be able to reach that but we can see what's going on and then we have makeup bags at the top i wanted those downstairs actually i was going to put kids games in those um but yeah a right. night well spent can we go to bed now please <laughs> Okay, so just to show you what I mean, this is the current situation with the skincare shelves. Actually, it's not too bad, um, considering everything's now gone from around the sink 
which is quite satisfying. But I just feel like this is not organised enough. Um, at the moment, we've got cleansers in this general area, eye creams, face creams, and then there's a couple of toners and then all of these are serums. But I just feel like it could be a lot more organised into like day and night or have like current routine out here and kind of ones that I'm not using so much in the cupboard. I don't know. What would be really good? One of those spinny spice rack things or a couple of those in the cupboard might be good for this kind of situation. Then I can have like a lot more of an edited selection out. Anyway, this is current skincare and then Mike's hasn't really changed much. It's at the top there. But yeah, I feel like it's very colorful, all the good stuff. Good morning, guys. I actually didn't finish the vlog last night because it was super duper late. And me and Rivy are going to London today. It's the Easter holidays. I thought I would show you my outfit before we leave. I'm gonna show you your outfit as well. What are you wearing? <laughs> you shy. My outfit today, I have on my Lily Silk trousers, which I wear like 24 seven. I have Gucci flats, the backless ones, because dare I say it, spring is, it's on the way, it's on the way. Um, and then I have on this shirt, which is from H&M, so it's a little bit cropped. My belt is a Sandro one that I've had for about 15 years. Um, and that is it. Oh, and then I have my Raven James Stella pendant on the river necklace, gotta go, because the kids are flying solo, and I just heard Enzo. What are you doing? You've got your ball. Enzo, can you say? Are you looking at yourself? You're very handsome. Bye, everybody. Can you say bye-bye? No? Yeah, bye-bye. See you later. Bye.